Hello, fellow Rent Manager users. My name is Emerson Bostrom with Wistar Group, and I'm teaming up with Anaquim to bring you these Rent Manager Pro Tips videos. So I'm going to help you become a pro at Rent Manager today. The subject is how to correct a billing error. Specifically speaking, going to go over an error that's a little embarrassing that we uh, are guilty of. Um, we accidentally build out too much on a work order and then did a partial payment. And so now we've got to correct our error. We've got to get that money back to the owner and, and then correct the bill so that we're charging the correct amount. So I'm showing you this bill right here and the, the total amount of the bill is uh, 1,737. And then we did a partial payment of 1229. So, this is coming from a work order. So this is the bill itself. It's linked to a work order here. And so the billing error uh, resulted from uh, an hour calculation mistake. And so we've corrected it here. And so the, the bill is actually only supposed to be $145. So that's this is kind of a big embarrassing mistake. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm going to fix this right now. So first I need to just I need to get rid of the remaining balance of this bill. And so I'm gonna create a vendor credit. So I will fill it out as I go. We use this account called vendor credit when we're giving back money or we're adjusting a bill. And I'm gonna reference the work order itself. I'll just call it a billing error. All right, so now here's the credit. I'm going to open that up. Sometimes it's a little slow. And so um, I had already pre-filtered the, uh, the, the vendor credit module to, to pull up this credit. And so in case you're curious the way, the way that I did it, I made a property filter just did properties that begin with uh, the uh, the street address of that uh, property and I click save and apply but anyway uh, I'm gonna apply this full amount and that'll clear it out so once I do that then that will clear out the remaining balance of that bill and I want to do that because basically I just want to start over I'm gonna create a new bill um, I'm going to give back the first portion of this bill that we had prepaid. Let me find that. Here it is, this uh, partial uh, payment that we paid ourselves uh, 1229 And so here I've got the credit. I've already made it. Um, I put it against the expense that, uh, that the bill initially came out of, this locksmithing expense. And... Uh, then I'm going to transfer the funds back to the owner. So this is the journal that I did to complete that. And, and now what I can do is rebuild this work order. So, so essentially what I'll just do is I will recreate this. And uh, to, to keep this a little bit shorter, I'm just going to make one line item and instead of having all the different line items in there. So I'll just do locksmithing service. And uh, what was that amount? 145.09. And then I'll build the owner here. And so just so that the parts and labor don't look too screwed up here, I'm going to zero that out in case we email this work order or the owner looks at the work order on their end. Uh, but I do have this bill linked right here uh, for the correct amount. So 
Uh, you can put any detail that if this happens to you, of course, you could fill out this bill memo and uh, any detail that you would need. But basically, um, with that, uh, I've made that owner whole. If, if sometimes I, I will send a general ledger of that bank account to the property owner to demonstrate that we gave that money back. And uh, it's right here. You can see the debit increased their balance. They're made whole now. And now we've just got this bill that's outstanding. We'll pay that and then we'll, we'll be in good shape. So I hope that never happens to you, uh, this kind of a billing error. But in case it does, uh, this is a way that you can go about fixing it. So I hope that this was useful for you. And until next time, I'm signing off. Thank you very much for watching.